hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel mix mix with Lucy today I'm gonna take you back all the way to Ashanti land we are going to be making chicken light soup I'm gonna eat it with fufu so here are my ingredients I have a whole chicken this is hard chicken from the African market you can get it yeah from the Asian market as well hard chicken okay that's hen um, I like this because uh, it's hard it doesn't melt in your soup I have one onion one whole onion I have uh, this is called prekese uh, it's a spice that we use in Ghana uh, ginger my pepper garlic I'm gonna use five tomatoes I have five okra and then my I have clove I'm gonna use a teaspoon of that. So I have a niece. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of that. This is my prekese powder. It's the same as this one. It's in the powder form. I'm going to use some of that as well. It's called gal. The English is gal. Right there, see it? Uh, of course, by Obe. I love Obe. Salt. Can do without it. And well, we could do without it. And chicken bouillon. So I'm going to go blend the onions, the garlic, pepper, the ginger, garlic and pepper. And then I'm gonna add some anise. I'm gonna blend it and I'm gonna put it on the meat and we're gonna steam it in here. Okay, so here we go. Oh yes, um, I forgot to tell you that I'll be adding a half cup of carrots. I'm going to blend it with the tomatoes okay so you can add carrots if you want to you don't have to add the carrots but the carrots so my chicken is in it started to cook beautifully I am going to add the blended ginger onions pepper anise and garlic so it and I'm gonna let it cook I'm gonna and I'm gonna rinse this out. I'm gonna rinse it out and pour it in. And then I'm going to add my salt, like um, a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add my clove a little bit. Okay, that's, that's enough. I'm going to add my obe. I love obe. I put obe in everything. As you can see, can I do it oh, with that obe? This is like a teaspoon and a half. And then I'm going to add my chicken bouillon. I will add two teaspoons. Put it on there. This is taste it enhances your taste of the food you don't have to add it if you don't want to it's starting to smell good already I'm gonna mix this all together I'm gonna let it season the meat steam the meat with our spices onions and garlic and all that and then we're going to cover it and let it cook for about five minutes and I'll be back so I'm back to check my meat you should be checking your food often stare it you know you see some red red in there that's fine it's still cooking it's still raw Close it back up, let it cook a little bit more, and I'll be back to add my tomatoes and my okra and my precocious. After this is cooked a little bit more, I'm gonna add my precocious, my okra, and my tomatoes. I will add this later on. 
this is carrot I'll add it later on so my tomatoes and my okra and my percocet will go in my tomatoes are cooked beautifully so I'm gonna take them out I'm gonna blend them I'm gonna put them in here I'm gonna add a little bit water to it and then I'll blend it So I put my tomato in and it's gonna cook, mixing it together. And it's gonna cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to rinse this out and dump it in here. Okay, okay so at this time you want to taste your soup and see mm, it's good but I need a lot to add a little bit more salt so I'm gonna add a little bit of salt like half a teaspoon of salt and then I'm gonna mix it together and I'm gonna let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes check it on my soup and it's coming along beautifully yes so the soup is done and so ready to eat so i'm going to make the fufu while the soup is on the fire um this is my plantains i have two plantains and i have uh some this is about one uh yuca cassava so i'm gonna cut these up into small pieces i'm gonna put it here and then i'm going to blend it and then i'll cook it in the microwave so I'm about to make my fufu. This is the cassava that I uh, cut into small pieces and my plantains at the bottom. You put water in it. Um, don't don't let it go past the, uh, the, the cassava and the plantain. You put water all the way up to here. And then we're gonna blend it and we'll put it in the microwave. If you put too much water, your fufu is not gonna work, come out nice. And this is courtesy of my mom and also Dr. Double O. Yeah, Dr. O is a say. Hey, how's you doing, man? So here you go. Our fufu is ready. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. First, we're going for five minutes. I take it out. I turn, put it in again for another five minutes. Take it out, turn it in till it's cooked. So my fufu has been for, in for five minutes. Taking it out. I'm going to um, put it back in. I'm going to put it back in for another five minutes. I like to do five minutes increments. This is a fufu has been in for the second five minutes. The first time was five minutes, and the second five minutes, I'm taking it out. And all I'm doing is I'm just folding. It's going to go in for another five minutes. And it will be, it will be done. Depending on the strength of your um, microwave too. So, now this is beautiful. You don't have to go and buy the box for food anymore. Just buy cassava and plantain, blend it, and microwave it. You can also cook it on the stove if you want to. Okay. So here you go. The final product. The fufu is done, and I'm going to take it and put it in our bowl. So take your fufu and divide it into how many or however you want. So I divided my fufu into two and two people are gonna eat it. So after your fufu is complete and your soup is cooked, you're just gonna take some of the soup and put it on your fufu and then you'll be ready to eat. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.